Am I the asshole for telling my roommate her friends can't use my things or sit on my couch? I have a roommate. We are both F23. We have been living together for a few months. I had another roommate before her, but she left when the lease was up, so I have been in the apartment a year longer than her. It's a one-bedroom apartment, and since I was there first, I have the bedroom and she is in the living room with a, priv with a privacy screen separating the living room and her bedroom. Quote-unquote bedroom. <laughs> When she first moved in, I had all the living room furniture already, so she didn't have to bring any. Just kitchen stuff and her personal stuff. Living with her has been okay. She has friends over some weekends, and they are not the kind of people I would associate with. They haven't done anything, but they give off a certain vibe to other people that I don't want to be associated with, and honestly, I just find them gross and don't trust them. They usually come over for an hour, then go out, so, so I haven't had to put up with them much. Last weekend, she told me she was going to have some friends over, that they were going to spend the night and hang out and order some food in and ask me if I wanted to join. I was mad because fine, if they were going to come over to hang out a bit before going out, then I wouldn't have to deal much with these gross people. But if I had to deal with these people for a whole night, that was not something I wanted to deal with in my own home. I don't want them using my things. I told her she was free to have her friends over, but they couldn't use any of my stuff, including the couch, TV, kitchen table, or anything that I bought. We got in an argument about it, and she ended up leaving and going out with her friends anyway. She came home yesterday afternoon, and now everything has been awkward, and she hasn't said a word to me. But it's my stuff, and I'm being nice enough to let her have these people over, and I don't think I need to let them use my things, too. Maybe if she's mad, she would have better friends. Uh, am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for refusing to let my homeless friend from high school move in or send her money when I am more than financially capable of doing so? Of doing so? From elementary school to high school, my best friend was a girl named Ariana. In high school, this group of kids severely bullied me. Ariana knew about the group of bullies but ended up joining them since she wanted to also become popular and get close to a guy in the group. It obviously sucked, but I moved on and haven't seen Ariana since high school. I feel like my current life is pretty successful, at least by societal standards, which is probably why Ariana reached out to me through social media. She apologized to me for bullying me in high school and explained that she really needed help because she was leaving a bad relationship and needed somewhere to stay, slash money for a hotel until she could figure out permanent housing. I told Ariana that I was open to talking again through social media, but I really wasn't comfortable giving her money or talking or, or letting her move in since we haven't talked in years. Ariana accused me of still being mad over what happened in high school and holding it against her. I told Ariana that I forgave her for the bullying and wasn't mad about it anymore. It's just ridiculous to have her move in or send money when we haven't talked in like seven years. A few family members who knew Ariana as my friend before high school said I was in the wrong for not helping Ariana. They said that popularity can seem like everything in high school, and even though Ariana caved to peer pressure, she was sorry enough to reach out to me and apologize, and that I am cruel for not helping her when she's trying to get out of a bad relationship, and I am more than capable of helping them. I understand that high schoolers can do bad things out of peer pressure, and I forgave Ariana for the bullying. I also acknowledge that leaving a bad relationship is tough. But I still think it's ridiculous for Ariana to move in or expect money from me when we haven't even talked in years. Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for asking my roommates to stop playing their weird game at night? I, F20, live with six roommates in a dorm. We all have our own bedrooms. Three of my roommates, all F20, are quite close friends. I'll just refer to them as the trio for convenience. The trio pretty much never attend their lectures and are often up all night. None of my business, but what they do, I don't care. But at random hours of the night, they go around running through the halls and knocking on each other's doors and shouting each other's names. It is extremely annoying and frequently wakes me up. I talk to my other roommates and they all agree that it's annoying and said that it's also been disturbing them. My other three roommates are very socially awkward and shy and don't want to confront the trio and ask me to do it. I asked the trio about it and they said that it is an odd game that they play. I asked them to politely stop doing it late at night as it's disturbing everyone in the apartment. They blatantly refused and got extremely offended that I even asked. They said that it's not like they're playing loud music or throwing a party and that we should all just use earplugs and learn how to deal with it. Excuse me? The f- I mean, obviously, definitely the asshole here. Like, 
you cannot have freaking what is it 10 roommates six roommates in a dorm where like you can't do that you cannot do that to people like that's entirely not cool like yelling each other's name late at night obviously i didn't go to college or i don't know if this is a yeah no it seems like a college situation i didn't go to college so i don't know about this stuff but don't you guys have like an ra that you can talk to because that's seriously not okay where half of the roommates firstly don't even go to their classes and then want to freaking keep keep the other ones awake at night like that's entirely not cool anyway definitely the assholes here Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I enjoyed making it. Um, I really like this makeup look. I'm I was really excited to do something like this. Um, I know I've been doing a lot of smoky eye sort of things, but I guess I'm kind of just moving into that sort of phase. I feel like everyone has these kind of phases of makeup that they do, and I guess this is mine. Um, I was really excited to use the white eyeliner again because I haven't in forever and a half because I've been out of it for forever and a half and I just missed it and I hope you guys really enjoyed the video I know I enjoyed making it um, please remember to like comment subscribe please hit the notification bell so you can get notified of when I post and um, comment below some stuff that you guys like to see me do um, I should have this new thing from hip dot that came that i think was announced a few months ago that i like pre-ordered a bunch of months ago that should be coming in soon and i'm excited to do some stuff with that um so yeah i will see you guys next time uh bye